So let's test out how well this vacuum goes on hardwood floor, on some protein powder, some crushed popcorn, and the same thing on the simulated carpet right there. This has different power modes. I'm going to put it on the max power up here. There you go. So as you can see, it got through everything in its path. The bigger chunks uh, has a little bit of hard time getting the super big chunks, but the smaller chunks did get through once you go through and pass it back. So this thing has a pretty damn good suction for what I can see. So now with the carpet test, these have a little bit of ridges in the uh, rug. So it kind of simulates more of a deep uh, rug cleaning. So let's see how well this does. Look at that. Nothing is left. As you can see, nothing on the floor is left. I'm not sure if you could tell, but me pushing on this, this was a little bit difficult to push because the suction was so heavy. So that is a good sign for how well this vacuum cleans on a deep carpet. So now we're going to do an edge test, basically from a raised surface down to the floor. Because the uh, suction on the vacuum is determined by how tightly it can grip the floor, once it goes over a ledge right here where there's going to be like some airway where the suction isn't fully 100% sealed, uh, this test will kind of show if it can suck up everything on here despite being not having a uh, fully sealed off suction here because of the raised lip right here. We'll see how this goes. All right, gonna put this on max power as you saw the first part uh, pass got most of it but coming back is when it got the majority of the stuff these bigger pieces they weren't picked up because they were pushed out by this ledge right here which is standard for basically all um, cordless vacuums because it is hard to get small services by uh, getting a crazy suction but also the bigger pieces because then it's harder to get bigger pieces because of the complete suction so I would say this is by far like above average way above average and pretty exceptional when it comes to cordless vacuums so now we're going to be going over how well the accessory does on these protein powder and popcorn because the accessories don't always have the same performance as the uh, vacuum pants. So we'll see how these do. So for this attachment, I'm going to go over it gently like this. Look at that. And you actually raise it up, all the bigger pieces come out. And yeah, it got everything in there. Look at that. Very easy. Basically clean now. Yeah, it's completely clean. So now we're moving on to this part. This part, because of the kind of plastic right here, it creates a much better seal than this accessory. That accessory is more for picking up like dust, maybe a debris. This is more of a deeper cleaning if you're vacuuming your car, for example, or if you're vacuuming um, your seats. All right, max power. Yeah, nothing gets left behind. And this thing, the suction on this thing, I can... It's quite a task to get it up off the ground right here. Oh my God, that's how crazy the suction is. So yeah, this is not meant to pick up bigger pieces. Its main function is to go over couches and kind of rugs and kind of uh, areas that you can't get up with your regular uh, vacuum head. So this thing creates a crazy seal. As you saw, I can barely lift this off of uh, the table right here. And to go over some basic features, this is the charger that it comes with. This is how you kind of plug it in to charge. There is a hole right here where you basically plug it in and that's how you charge the battery. There is an indicator here when you turn it on. It lights up blue and when it it is low on battery it will go to red you can take out the air filter right here this is where you press to have the maximum power the battery is not detachable and right here how you empty the bin is you click on the blue thing here this thing will pop on out and basically dump all your garbage like that and as for the vacuum head itself as you can see it has two big wheels so it makes the gliding on hardwood floor much much easier compared to a lot of the other vacuums and as I can show you it does come with a light which is very bright and very effective as you can see this is in in a darker part of my house and you see how much it lights up the surrounding area so that is very effective overall yeah i'm very pleased and very satisfied with this purchase because this thing it is a 
beast for the uh, kind of value you, that you're getting out of this. This thing can handle its own with the big dogs like the Dyson because of how crazy the suction power on this is and how long the battery life is. So yeah, I'm super happy. And if you're considering a vacuum, please pick this one up. So I want to go over the features of this vacuum. Basically, it has a 150 volt uh, kind of vacuuming power back here. Basically, this thing will suck onto carpet super well. And depending on the surface, it might even be tough to move as I can show you because how you turn it on, you can click this to turn on, but also you can have this thing to kind of manually hold it in place. So you don't have to hold the trigger down to kind of op um, use this, which is very useful. But if you want the max power right here, click on the button, you can hear it is wrapping up this thing. It is almost hard to push on the carpeted floor because it's sucking um, suction is sealed so well that it's hard to push. So yeah, I can demonstrate the kind of sound output this thing has. This is the mic right here. This is the standard kind of volume you get from standard mode. That is the maximum volume. Quite loud, but also quite powerful. I can also demonstrate the kind of air output uh, that is outputting because it will show you the type of kind of suction power it has at the base with how much wind is coming out. So this is the base. So you see it is, you know, it's going pretty, pretty fast. This is the maximum. This thing, it is hauling now. Uh, just to keep in mind, there is two air outputs. So this is only half the air you're seeing. So that means this thing, it is quite powerful. This thing is a fully sealed four stage filtration cyclonic system that traps 99.97% of particles as small as 0.3 microns. Cleaning your air because the filter back here, it is one of the uh, much, much better filters than a lot of the other vacuums. The other vacuums has much smaller vacuums, but also the much smaller filters, but also the filter itself is not uh, able to filtrate uh, the smaller particles, but this can. This has a one touch dustbin. Basically, you click on this button right here and the lid kind of pops on out so you can empty this bin on your garbage can super easily. This also has a mounted dock that you can charge much easier. I don't have that uh, thing because I, I don't find it uh, useful. I don't like it. So I just kind of, what I do is this, this is the power cord. The charging port is right over here. So I just basically, every time I need to charge it, push it in and that is good. It also has a crystal clear modern design that looks very uh, sleek and aesthetic because of the white and silver. This thing is super lightweight and uh, super maneuverable because it only weighs five pounds, which is quite light for a cordless vacuum too. That is also 2.3 kilograms and can be easily moved around on the floor or to the ceiling if you need kind of ceiling uh, cleaning. This thing is so light that you can do both. This thing on the regular mode provides 25 minutes of kind of vacuuming and on the highest, more, most powerful mode, it, it can output 10 minutes, which is crazy for the type of suctioning this thing gets. This thing comes with all the filters that you need. As you can see back here, the kind of uh, manual, the liquid filter needs replaced every three months. But the HEPA filter, which is this filter right here, can only need to be replaced once a year, which is quite convenient and quite nice. So I want to go over some questions some people have had about this vacuum. First of all, being that does the blue light charging light go out once the battery is fully charged? And as you can see here, when I turn it on, the blue light turns on right there. And when uh, you when the thing is running and it goes on low battery, the thing will turn on to red, indicating you need to charge this. And once you plug it in, the blue light will remain on here until it is fully charged. And once it is fully charged, then it will go away back to this lighting, which is no lighting even if you do have the charger plugged in. Is this a wet vacuum too or just a dry vacuum? As you can see at the bottom here, this is only a suction dry vacuum. There is no mopping feature. There is no place to put the water in. There's no uh, filtration, no cleaning uh, like that. So this is only a dry vacuum. Where can I find the filter and the pre-filter? The HEPA filter is right on here. As you can see, you click on these two uh, sides, so it pops on out. This is quite a significant size uh, HEPA filter on a uh, portable uh, cordless vacuum because a lot of the other uh, ones in the same price range, they either don't have a HEPA uh, filter or it is so much smaller that it is basically unusable. So this thing being quite a significant size, it is quite uh, good. And the other pre-filter, you take the gun out, you take, uh, you open the dustbin right here, you click the button, blue button right here to open the dustbin, and this is the pre-filter right in here. You cannot pull it out just like that. You gotta turn it so it unlocks, and then you pull it out. The silver thing is the pre-filter. This thing, depending on your usage, maybe you have to replace once every three months. You put it in, you kind of twist it back, you lock it, and there you go. 
the filter in the back replace probably annually. What is the suction power in uh, PA? This uh, motor uh, power is rated for 305 watts, which is pretty insane for the price range that you're getting out of this. So you're getting crazy value. But when you have this on to, you know, the rods and going all the way down to the vacuuming thing, this thing uh, at the base is around 105 watts of suction, which is quite still very significant because the average, it is much lower for the same price range uh, vacuum. So you're getting uh, quite a lot of suction with this. Do you sell just the handle portion? Love the vacuum, but the motor just went out. The handle portion is basically what they're talking about is this portion right here because the battery, it is not replaceable. So when the battery does go out, you have to replace this whole thing, meaning that you have to buy uh, basically a new vacuum. But thankfully, this has a great warranty. So even if you go out with, let's say like within the first year, I think uh, you can still get uh, all your parts replaced uh, without any hassle. So that is a great relief because uh, this thing has been quite uh, quite a, a value for me because of how great it sucks and how uh, uh, versatile this thing is. What are the measurements of the DC barrel plug? The DC barrel plug, because this is the main charging function, as you can see here, it is 1 8 inch wide. You basically, you plug it into the side right here, right in here, you plug this in, it is super sturdy goes in like that. Can you manually select a lower power or is the max power the only manual function? And no, the way this uh, vacuum works is you see the trigger right here. You can click on it or hold it to turn it on. If you don't want to do that, as you can see here, this has a kind of holder for you. You push it up, it holds the trigger for you so you don't have to hold it. And once you do, the max power is right here. You click on it, as you can hear, it goes into max power. So as you can see, there's two manual functions of this vacuum when it comes to power. It is the regular mode and also the max mode. Can this vacuum be charged without docking to the wall mount? And yes, it can be charged because as I've shown you, uh, you can put this to the wall mount. You can, I think you attach this to the wall mount. So when you kind of uh, kind of hang it onto the wall, it'll automatically get charged. But if you don't want to do the wall mount, because I, I don't like wall mounts, I just plug this into right here. It is super easy and simple, just like that. And it's charging. You adjust the height. And yes, you can adjust the height because uh, you take this apart as you can see this is what is left you can take the middle apart you connect this to and now you have a shorter and more compact vacuum for kind of the uh, uh, more like knit and kind of snug areas but you can do this even further by taking the head out you just have the head with the handle this is uh, for when you want to vacuum uh, your car when you want to uh, take this on vacation you kind of want a hand vacuum this is very useful are the wheels rubber or plastic are the wheels safe on hardwood floors and yes as you can see here, this is a kind of rubber, a kind of felt uh, kind of material. Uh, you know, the those furnitures or even like um, accessories, they have a bottom peg that is made of kind of felt kind of material that is resistant to scratching the your surfaces or the hardwood floor. This is made out of that. This is quite a kind of a soft kind of rubbery uh, kind of material. So this is not going to scratch up your hardwood floor. I've used this plenty numerous times on the hardwood floor it has not done any scratching so this says you can be perfectly safe knowing that this thing will not scratch it up so i want to go over why this is better than the competition first of all being that it's noise level although it is not the quietest vacuum uh, on the market and the same price range it is the highest power with the minimum noise because this at the standard mode pumps out around 72 db of noise i, I can show you right now this is how it kind of sounds the max mode is 78 dB. And that's how it sounds. So it is like quite a bit loud, but depending uh, on the suctioning power, which this thing is a beast when it comes to suction power, for the amount of power you're getting, the noise is so low in comparison because when you compare it to a lot of the other same price range uh, vacuums, they do not get this quiet when they're doing the same amount of power. This also has a higher airflow. This has a 19 CFM on the standard mode and a 24 CFM on the high mode. Uh, regular vacuums in this price range is around like 15 CFM, which means that when you have a higher CFM, you can suck more in because the airflow is a lot stronger. You get more dust, you get more particles. So you're getting more a bang for your buck. Not to mention this product also has a large dustbin of 0.4 liters of dust. I have 
have maybe needed to empty this out maybe every three or four times I vacuum and every single time I vacuum I do the whole house so the whole house up to like four times and my place is like semi big so this is quite impressive for the kind of price range that it has a lot of the same ones you find in this price bracket it is not even comparable this also has a more durable motor because this is a brushless motor meaning it'll last longer it generates less heat meaning the battery life will last longer because uh, the more heat on the battery is actually a bad thing because it will degrade the life of the battery over the long term. So you want less heat. That's why this motor is so efficient and causes less friction up there compared to a lot of the other motors. That's why it is so good. It also has a really ergonomic handle. As you can see, once you place uh, your three fingers, your one finger on the trigger right here, this is your natural placing hand. It feels super comfortable, super well when you kind of push it on to getting uh, uh, all different angles that you might want to use this for. Not the mention this has a really flexible hose as you can see here the hose is on the back right here and also on the front right here this can kind of rotate any which way and because the hose is more uh, sturdy meaning that it won't have any uh, nicks uh, or kind of scratches or any uh, punctures uh, because once that happens the suction on your vacuum is going to decrease by a lot so that's why having a really sturdy and really well built hose is really important and a lot of these same vacuums on the same price range will not have this kind of sturdiness where, uh, when it comes to its hoses so that's what makes this uh, kind of really stand out not to mention it has a crazy unique accessories obviously this is not really unique you've seen this in other kind of vacuums that the standard kind of uh, dust uh, vacuum this thing this thing is a game changer as you can see right here the plastic right here you kind of rotates so whichever surface that you're uh, on it rotates and goes up and down with it and because of this this creates an insane suction this has more suction power than the actual vacuum head itself when you need to use this for like couches car seats uh kind of any uh, smooth surfaces where you can go right ahead this thing will be crazy powerful i can barely like pull this off when it is like sealed tight so that's how crazy this thing is and it being smaller you can get into kind of nooks and crannies you wouldn't be able to get if you were using the regular head this is more advanced filtration system compared to a lot of the other vacuums as a mesh filter and pre-filter a hepa filter which i can see it is huge compared to a lot of the other vacuums in this price range they either have no HEPA filter at all, which is really bad because when a particle gets sucked in, if you don't have a HEPA filter, all the dust and the gunk from the floor will just spew out all over the room. Uh, so you end up breathing it back in. So that's why a HEPA filter is necessary. And the other vacuums in this price range that does have a HEPA filter, they are not as big. So they can't filtrate uh, uh, 0.3 microns, which is what this can do. It captures super fine particles. It also is very user friendly. It doesn't have all the fluff, all the... Uh, unnecessary features because all you need you don't need an led screen you just need the battery indicator right up in here and that's all you need you don't need to confuse yourself with a bunch of unnecessary leds and that, that dries up the price for no reason you don't need that and not to mention this has a super uh, great uh, aesthetic the white and silver you can place this in any part of your house any part of your room it's gonna match it and it's gonna look super uh, nice and aesthetic with it so that's why overall i am in love with this vacuum this might be one of the um, best suction best power vacuum i've ever tested that's why this is my favorite vacuum of the year